Oh my goodness, y'all. So, I'm in a recording frenzy right now. And this video was actually requested by a subby and a cheekster. I'm sorry. Um, On my life update video, she requested it. So, I was like, since I have it here, I might as well share it with you guys. Um, so, this is going to be an updated what's in my purse video or... What's in my backpack, rather? It's nothing fancy. It's nothing name brand. I honestly think it was under 20 bucks at Ross. But yeah, it's just clear backpack with sequins on it. And I have to say, I didn't bump this bag. I didn't drop this bag. I didn't throw this bag in the car. The sequins have been lasting. Okay, there's a couple missing. But it's been lasting. Like, it just has a little pocket right here. But it's completely see-through. Like, you can see completely through it. Anyway, from the inside. Like, when I clear this out, you'll see what I mean. But, yeah. It's my little, my little backpack. I love this backpack. I get so many compliments on this backpack. And I'm just like, yeah, I just don't know. It's a regular backpack. But, yeah. Um, oh! And, um, my fellow YouTuber, homegirl Courtney... She was talking about um, the second season um, of She's Gotta Have It. Yeah, She's Gotta Have It. So, yeah, this season I feel like wasn't as juicy as the first season because I feel like they were trying to put a lot of, like, political and social justice issues into this season. Kind of like, I don't know, to reflect the times or whatever. Um I think because Nola wasn't, I don't know, like, I guess because Nola wasn't so much in this season so divulged in her sexuality that maybe why it wasn't as juicy because, like, when the, when it starts, sorry, spoiler alert, because when it starts, you know, she's in that relationship with Opal and she's trying to live this, like, monogamous LGBT type of family relationship and then you see her like go through this coming of age moment again where she goes on that little trip or whatever and then she like finds herself like I don't know I feel like this season was more so of about Nola versus who Nola's gonna be with next or you know how she's going to maneuver between being all these types of versions of a woman to a man. Like, because that's what fir the first season was about. I feel like the first season, we got to see how she was kind of like all these parts of Nola. When she was with Greer and Mars and Jamie, the parts were more so scattered because she had to be this type of woman to Greer or this type of woman to Jamie or this type of woman to Mars. Whereas in the second season, it shows how Nola finds herself simply by herself. So I don't know if that's like what the message was trying to be in the second season. Like they were trying to kind of show that coming of age or women in like women empowerment and women speaking up and like actually wanting to um wanting to be heard and be blunt and be recognized solely by their quality versus their sexuality so I don't know if that's like what they were trying to go with that's just what I took from the second season I will say the first season was a lot more fun, honey. Yes, it was. Because, you know, she was having more sex scenes. It was more so of Nola just exploring her sexuality and having these multiple partners. So I feel like in the second season, they were kind of trying to show her more so evolving into, like, the woman that she was always in search for. At the same time, trying to throw in, you know, some social justice issues that we live with on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I don't know. But Spike, if we think about it, Spike Lee is a very, he's a very, he always tries to get his message across in a different type of way. Because if I remember correctly, I don't think the second season was directed by Spike Lee. 
Um, I remember the first season, it literally said at the end of the credits, directed by Spike Lee. I feel like he collaborated with some people on the second season this time around. I don't think he worked solely on the second season by himself this time. So I don't know if that may have played a role in it either. But I do agree with you. The second, the first season was a lot more juicier. The second season was just kind of like more informative and in like trying to get messages out there um, to the audience. So they focused a lot more on the art this season. But I feel like the second season was also to showcase um, black artists. <clears throat> black artists and raise questions about how we view all forms of art from minorities. So I kind of feel like that um, was also something that was very much so the focus in the second season. It was a lot more less than about NOLA and more so about the social justice issues that we had going on and about art and how important art is to certain communities. So I kind of feel like they, that was their focal point this time because let's be real, the movie, She Gotta Have It, in the first season, people were not ready for NOLA Darling. They was not ready. So I feel like with the second season, you know, corporate America probably kind of like came in and was like, hey, y'all need to die this down a little bit. We don't want people to get, you know, I don't know, too. Because really, if we think about it, the movie in the first season of She Gotta Have It, 2019, or back in 2018, um, or was it in 2007? Pure point blank. If we think about the movie in the first season, they very much so focus more so on the sexuality, the female sexuality and how, um, you know, how we have to um, appeal to the male gaze and then have to deal with the different male gazes within our own community. So I feel like that was the first season. And then the movie is just, you know, a complete movie depiction of the first season so I feel like that's how those two kind of connect the second season I feel like they really like try to focus more on social justice issues and kind of pull back from the whole sexual aspect of the of the film and of the first season and that's just my personal opinion I hope that made sense I hope y'all get what I'm saying but yeah, Courtney, girl, you got me talking. That was not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show y'all what's in my work bag. But I'm about to do that. Um, If you guys would like for me to do, like, these type of videos where I, like, watch series and watch films and documentaries and kind of, like, give my perspective or ideas on them, definitely do that. I, I, I didn't think that I was going to go there in this video, but I'm kind of glad I did because it gave me an idea for, my, for additional content on my channel. Um, I have not started watching When They See Us. I feel the exact same way about watching it because I am the type of person that those, it's just like when I watch certain movies like Ghost of Mississippi, um, 12 Years a Slave, like, Django like it's certain like movies like that I try not to watch because it pisses me off it kind of it kind of puts me in a in a uncomfortable position of rage so I try not to watch movies like that but I feel like it's important that we do watch movies and series like this so we can understand our surroundings so I'm kind of hesitant about watching it I haven't started it I don't want to do it while I'm going to work because it's just gonna irritate me and piss me off even more because I work in corporate America so I definitely do not want to watch it while I'm at work it's gonna be it's gonna have to be something that I do on um, a weekend because I can't do it during the week but I haven't watched it either. I'm kind of hesitant. I know I'm going to watch it, but I just don't know when. Okay, so enough talk about that. Um, the purpose of the video was to show you guys what's in my work bag. Where I work, we have a clear bag policy. Um, the clearer, the easier it is for you to get through security. It is the most annoying part of my job, I assure you. 
once I go through them gates, I'm good. I'm happy as hell. But that's the most annoying portion of my job. So I'm going to start with the uh, little mini pocket here. I have some hand sanitizer. Uh, this is Sunshine and Lemons. I love anything lemon scented. Um, of course, I have my Miami lighter that I got when I went to Miami. Uh, I have my Riri Compact, which houses, I think it's Refined Gold by MAC. Yeah, uh, Refined Gold by MAC Bronzer or Face Powder. That's what I have in here. My favorite compact. Um, girl, these are so... I'm actually... <clears throat> I'm actually about to leave this here because it's it's leaving a mess in my um, bag. But this was actually a bag of um, seeds and a stone that my brother gave me. Um, I'm about to find it here because I believe it fell out. Yeah. So uh, this stone my brother gave me on my birthday and it's supposed to be in this pouch. This pouch actually used to house this stone and some seeds and they're just supposed to be for guidance and protection um and he put it in this little bag um i need to actually i'm gonna pour the seeds in me and gina's little positive bowl and then i'm just gonna carry the stone in here but i keep this with me um for protection and my brother gave it to me i keep everything my brother gives me um, this is another hand sanitizer and it's, my unicorn made me do it. Sounds about right. I love unicorns. Um, my little mini fingernail clipper. It's just a little ice cream cone. Headphones and floss. They go hand in hand. Yeah, I, I keep that. I normally have like some type of breath spray or mints in here, but I, I ran out, so I don't have that in here. Um, here is a Jolly Rancher. My favorite Jolly Ranchers are Blue's Ra Blue Raspberry and Green Apple. Those are the only two that I really like to eat. I have a Sugar Skull lighter. And then um, I got some condoms. Um... <laughs> Honestly, I just like putting things in my bag that make people uncomfortable. And I feel like if I have to get my clear bag searched, I'm going to be completely transparent. So I put these in here just for kicks. Like, I think it's funny. Uh, I told y'all I like doing stuff just to kind of like <laughs> pick people's brains. And then I just have some fortune cookie like strippings in there. I like to keep them. I really, really do. I need to put them in a little black pouch. And then I have my Victoria's Secret. This is actually a pencil pouch, but I am using it as a lip gloss holder. And yeah, it literally just has lip gloss and one rollerball perfume. So these are like kind of my Kylie's, my Buxom, my lip oil, and my car mix. And then I have some lemon cough drops, which I really haven't been coughing, but sometimes I do get, I just have this really like annoying allergy cough that pops up. So yeah, I just wanted those. This is from work. Um, my job is stressing me out, y'all. So I, I kind of like, I don't want to leave my job, but I'm just kind of like bringing little things home. Um... So yeah, this was on my desk, but it's annoying the fuck out of me at work now. So I brought it home. I'm going to put it here on the table. Um, me and Gina will definitely get some use out of it. <laughs> my keys, which I got some new keychains. <clears throat> so this is for my birthday when we went to Atlanta and Tybee Island. It actually says Tybee Island on it and my name i've never had a keychain with my name on it yeah believe it or not um because they never have my name it's always sold out or spelled with an a um so 
I got this. And then this one is from my trip to Florida. And it's one of my favorite. They didn't have a seahorse, otherwise I would've got a seahorse. But they did have my other favorite, which is a starfish. Those are my two most two favorite aquatic animals is the seahorse and the starfish. The third is a stingray. But the only reason why a stingray ain't number one is because they sting you. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so those are my keys. And then you guys saw my wallet in the other video. But this is my Kate Spade wallet. And then I have some wet ones. I normally have like during that time of the month, I have like feminine wipes in here as well. But since we're good for right now, I just have my wet ones in there. You always got to have the wet ones. And then here is some body spray. This is Calm Palm. So, yeah. And then another thing is if you can get the little Summer Eve feminine wipes, like the little packets that are really, really discreet, you can just slip them into your wallet and do that too. I just thought about that. <laughs> Kleenex, you never know, especially with allergy season. This is my little Mario Badescu. <laughs> it's not even rose water. This is actually mint alcohol. I sanitize my desk. And honestly, I just sanitize myself, period. Germs are real. And during the summer allergy season, I need to sanitize everything. And then I got my pins in here, which normally are at my desk. But people's shit been coming up missing. And I be damned if my pins come up missing. So I have, like, my flower pin, my blue pin, my uh, pin from Gina's old job, and then a regular big gel pin. So I got my pins. And then I have two mirrors in here. This one, which I got a while ago. And this one I got while I was in Miami also. So this is my Miami compact mirror. And this one just says C for Candace. So. And then I just got some new shit in here. I got some bounce sheets in here just to keep any unwanted critters. Typically my bag is clear. It's not a cloth bag, so I don't have to worry about that, but you never know. Um, this is a little unicorn that I had on my desk, but I took it off because I don't know. I don't want nobody to fuck with it. People be doing weird shit at work, bro. Oh my goodness, I had the other lighter this whole time. I knew I did. So this is supposed to be the Miami lighter for the house. I have one personal one and then one for the house. This is another Rollerball perfume by Juicy Couture. My new lippy. And then um, another lip plumper. This is the new um, Fuller Instinct by NYX. I called this while I was in Florida. Really nice and affordable. So yeah, that, and these are my glasses. These are my sunglasses that I've been wearing since I came back from Florida. These just give me summer vibes. It makes me feel really Miami vice -ish. So yeah, I had got these at City Trends um, when I got one of my clear bags. So I saved them for my trip, and I just keep them in my bag. So that's it. That's all that is in here. So as I was saying, it's fully clear. So you can see what's in that little pocket here from the back. And then that's what it looks like from the front. So a lot of times when I go through security at work, they be like, it's okay. <laughs> they don't even like, sometimes they be extra and they actually like want to go through my wallet. And I'm just like, what can I really fit in here? Really, really like what? What type of weapon is going to fit in here? And I, who? how dumb am I going to be to put it in here? You know? So, yeah. They, um, sometimes they be extra and they be trying to go through my wallet. And then my pencil pouch literally just has my lip glosses in it. So, yeah. I'm super glad this is clear. So, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot. I didn't expect it to be this long. But I hope you guys stay tuned 
Check out previous videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And follow me on social media as well. Gina is bringing pizza home for dinner. But I think I might honestly eat these little two fish sticks that she had left over from Captain D's. They like this. They not even that big, bruh. And, um, yeah. So, there's your updated What's in My Bag video, girl. Hope you liked it. Um, and Courtney, girl, I just, I was like, I ain't even gonna write her back in the comments. I'm about to, like, respond this way. Especially, you know, for the people that, like, really, really fuck with me outside of YouTube and, like, follow me on social media. Yeah, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love all y'all. But I, I love all y'all. Let's just leave it. <laughs> there is no favoritism. I love all y'all. Um... So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, follow me on social media. I was about to say something else, but I completely fucking forgot now. Damn. Oh, well. Peace.